I don't understand why it's called football. You don't really, really uh, use your um, hand feet that much. Maybe it's because the ball is long, and it kind of looks like a foot. M maybe the ball is a foot long. No, I think soccer should be called football. Live from Bellingham High School, this is Hawk News Now. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Hawk News. Today is Thursday, April 6th. It is a B-Day, and I'm back for being gone for a week. Now let's get into today's top stories. This is Bernie Pierce, and I'm Dan Aiden Doyle. Thank and you. The re and before we start, the reason why this is filmed on a Thursday... It's because we don't have school Friday. This Friday is Good Friday. Now let's get into today's top stories. We are happy to share with you this week's Good Life message. This week's video is on expressing and talking about your emotions. We can all learn from little children. Today, you did not make it no choice. So, you, you hit my feelings by not going outside, so that's why I didn't want to make this a small choice. You know, Aaliyah, mm -hmm. I couldn't go outside, so I was still a little sad. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that was a consequence. But after I was a little sad, I was a little bit upset. More than a little. More than a little upset? Yeah, we all get upset sometimes. Yeah, we don't get what we want all the time. Uh huh. Mama also don't. Papa also don't. But it's hard for babies to do, to do that. Those still babies, they don't understand. They have to not do that. You know, earlier, mm. baby dropped. The, the, the plate and Papa got angry at her and I, I told Papa to make this, I told Papa to stop eat slow and make a small choice mm -hmm. for Papa. And then did he do it? Yeah, but but earlier I, I chose to be a, a tiny bit mad but, but after a while I was okay. You were okay? Mm -hmm. Life is like that. We get upset, we get mad, we cry. That's emotions, Mama. That's emotions, I know. And then we feel better after we cry. Yep. She do even when you're upset or angry. Mm -hmm. Always different kinds of feelings, even though when you're scared. Mm -hmm. That's another emotion. <laughs> yeah, a different kind of emotion. Mm -hmm. and no, I was wrong. Today, I, I had a all time do my emotions. Yeah? Yeah, it's just today. That's okay. But it we're, means, we're learning. You're but learning when, also. When, even the one I was that mad, you still love me that so much? Of course. Always. Yeah, I love you too. Our quote of the week could only come from Helen Keller. She said, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Here is a message from our BHS SAD group on an upcoming event to be held here at BHS. We're talking about dunk distracted driving. Dunk combines dynamic basketball performers along with an educational and informational message on the dangers of distracted driving. Distracted driving for young drivers accounts for a majority of accidents in the United States. Whether it is texting, talking with your friends, or driving under the influence, which is illegal, inexperienced teenage driving is something every community uh, grapples with. All classes will be attending this event on Wednesday, April 12th, during Windlock. It's time to go to the movies. Next up is Sawyer Gomes with his weekly movie review. Take it away, Sawyer. Hello there, my movie peeps. I'm Sawyer Gomes with your Black Hawk movie review. And Anthony's with me here today. Hello. I am dressed up as Luigi. Because if you don't know, the Mario movie comes out today. Make sure to watch it this weekend. 
This week's movie review is on Easter Sunday with stand-up comedian Joe Coy. Eugene Corrido from Tacoma FD lends his talents to the A-list of Filipino actors that open the door to a culture that America does not know much about. This film is about a fictional Joe Coy named Joe Valencia, who is a struggling actor, comedian, and single father, who he, along with his son, Joe Jr., attend Easter dinner with Joe's mom and extended family. If you like the numerous stand-up specials that Joe Coy has on Netflix, you will love this movie. If you have not seen Joe Coy stand-up, you are missing out. So make sure to get permission from your person in charge, because there are fewers that are on the naughty list. Roll the clip. Joseph, are you coming for Easter? I don't know, Mom. I'm really busy. I just tested for this pilot. You're going to be a pilot? A network pilot for, like, a TV show. Ah, you're playing a pilot on the TV show. No, a lawyer. You could have been a lawyer if you only applied yourself. Little father and son road trip. It's gonna be fun. Easter Sunday is like the Filipino Super Bowl. There he is. There's my Koya. Welcome home, bro. See you tonight, okay? I just got it. And I got to follow Mom's dream and be coming. This her. movie is a hidden gem. Besides, Easter doesn't get any love in the holiday special, other than the eggs are ready, sir. Like the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. So I give Easter Sunday a egg hunting four out of five fox. Make sure to find this in your backyard during Easter egg hunting. I'm Sora Gomes, and I'll see you next time at the movies. Happy Easter! <gasps> Yahoo! Yahoo! And now it's time for another interview with the world's best undead superstar, Cleveland the Skeleton. Yo, yo! What's up, you guys? It's me, Anthony Goodwin. Today, I'm talking with Cleveland on the opinions on food. Hello there, yeah, I've been told some of my food opinions are a bit dated. All right, the first question is, does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes! Pineapple does belong on pizza. Not only that, it belongs on other things. I can't wait to get home and have some pineapple on my grilled cheese and pineapple eggs. That's gonna get people riled up. Our next question is, what is better on buffalo wings? Ranch or blue cheese? You know, personally, I'm gonna have to go with the ranch. If I wanted to eat mold, I would just go to Burger King. Oh, I like that opinion. Let's finish off with our final question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Personally, I think a hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> Leave me! No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Uh, okay, bye, guys. And now, sports. The, the best, best segment of all time. time. With Aiden Doyle, and Bernie still enjoys sitting by herself because she's not a sports girl. Here you go. Please, Aiden. No. Oh, touchdown. Welcome back to Hawk Sports, everyone. It's Aiden Doyle along with Bernie Pierce. We have a lot of uh, school sports updates. Um, first up, uh, boys baseball kicked off their season this week. Um, they took... Um, they take to the road tonight to play uh, Medway, and then again tomorrow to play Grafton. You can catch them at home on uh, Richardson Field next Monday at 4 o'clock as they take on Dover, Dover Sherborne. Go Hawks! Yep. Girls softball also started their season this past week, and they will have their next two games at home on the fields on High Street. They play Medway this afternoon at 3.45 and will play Dover, Dover Sherborne next Monday at 4 o'clock. Why do I keep pronouncing Dover Dover? Boys Lacrosse takes uh, the home turf tomorrow, a.k.a. the football field, at 4.30 against Seekonk. You can catch them again at home next Monday at 5 when they play Dedham. Girls Lacrosse will play Dover Sherborne tonight and then in Dedham on Monday after several games on the road. They'll play their first TVL home game later this month on April 24th. So good luck girls across. And finally the final uh, school sports update out, outdoor track started off with their first um, meet this past Thursday at uh, Medway High. They have their next meet on 
next Thursday in Norton. And we're done. Let's take a break from school sports. For those of you who have been following the Boston Red Sox, if you're a Red Sox fan, they are currently placing fourth in the AL East with a record of two wins and three losses. They play the uh, Detroit Tigers in their next series starting tonight at Fenway Park in Boston. And now the Woo Sox, if the Woo Sox are more your speed, they are on the road for a six-game series against Buffalo. But you can catch them at Polar Park next week as they take on the Columbus Clippers for their next series. Best of the luck to all of our spring sports teams. Go Sox and go Hawks. But wait, there's more. Finally, is this week's episode of Captain's Corner. So, courtesy of Mrs. Hearn, take it away. Boys lacrosse won 9-8 over Medway on Monday. Boys baseball won 2-1 on Tuesday against Norton. And JV baseball plays at 345 home. Softball has a game against Medway today at 345. Boys volleyball plays today at King Philip. JV at 345 and varsity at 445. Girls lacrosse has a game today at DS at 545. Tomorrow, JV Baseball plays Grafton at 345. Varsity plays away at Grafton at 4. Boys Varsity Cross is home versus Seekonk at 430. Female Athlete of the Week is Kelly Elder from Track. Male Athlete of the Week is Brady Carroll from Boys Lacrosse. And Underclassman of the Week is Abby Peltier from Girls Lacrosse. That's it for Captain's Corner. Hawks Country, let's fly. Thank you guys so much for watching Hawk Sports, and we'll see you next week. This is Ben. Aiden Doyle. And me. And that concludes this week's episode of Hawk News. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great recharging weekend, everyone. Again, no school Friday, April 7th, because of Good uh, Friday. Have a continued blessed Ramadan and Easter, and see you all next week. This has been Bernie Pierce. And Aiden Doyle.